Hi, and welcome to my tutorial. Uh, this is the first tutorial that I'm making to post it on YouTube, so um, it's not, it's not going to be the best tutorial ever, but um, here we go. In this tutorial, I will teach you the very, very basics of 3ds Max, uh, like how to rotate, how to move, and things like that. Okay, here we go. Um, basically, uh, when you open 3ds Max, you will have your four views. Actually, before I carry on about this, let me just tell you how I got my uh, 3ds Max to look like this. Um, you can go to Customize and uh, click on Load Custom UI Scheme. And then here you have four different uh, options that you can choose. And uh, I think mine's the um, uh, mine's this one. So basically, just open that, and it will apply that uh, colors and that basically uh, menu looking menu thing to your 3ds Max. Um, you can create objects by uh, choosing these options here. You can create the box, the sphere, cell, and things like that. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a box. Uh, I'm just going to click and drag, let go, uh, pull up or down, whichever I want, and then click again. And that's basically how big I want it to be. Now, as you can see, we have four views here. This one's showing the front, this one's top, this one's left, and this one's your perspective view. Um, you can make any of these views bigger by just holding Alt on your keyboard and pressing, pressing W. As you can see right now, I have a kind of like a, uh, a white uh, border around my perspective view. This means that I've got my perspective view selected. So I can just press Alt and W and make that bigger. If I want to make any of the other views bigger, I, I, I personally like to middle click on that view, middle, uh, just uh, click on it with your middle mouse button and press uh, Alt and W. And basically, you can just do that. Uh, to, as you can see right now, the box is out of the frame. So how do I get that to fit in my frame? Basically, you can press Z or Z on the keyboard, and it will zoom on that object that you have selected. Now, if I want to select my object, uh, I, can't, I can't do that right now because I've got my box uh, option selected. So if I just try to click on it, it will create another box for me. So um, in order to, to do that, I need to get off my... Uh, box option. Basically, I usually press W, which also stands for move, uh, which basically is a shortcut key for your move uh, for the move tool. And as you can see, when I press W, it selects my move tool over here. If I press E, it will uh, select my uh, rotate uh, tool, and if I press R, it will select my uh, scale tool. And uh, Q is just select, really. So basically, uh, if I press Q, it will basically uh, highlight this option. Now I can only select, and I cannot move, uh, move rotate, or scale any of the uh, my objects. So um, as you can see here, uh, if, if there are actually arrows there, like if I press W, and then I can see the arrows, and I can uh, move just by uh, clicking on the direction I want, and basically just uh, m uh, move the object. Uh, one of the uh, things that you will really need is to rotate and to uh, move around your scene, really. To move around your scene, you need to hold Alt. To uh, I mean, actually, to rotate around your scene, you need to hold Alt on your keyboard and click your middle mouse button and basically move around, like, like so. If you want to move your scene around, hold Control and middle mouse button. And you can basically like uh, move your scene around like this. Okay. Uh, to edit your box, your objects, you can go to your modify panel, which is this one right here, second one from top. And here you have options like uh, how big you want it to be. Uh, you can basically change all those settings here, and you can also add more polygons to it. Like so, I'm just gonna press F4 on my keyboard so we can actually see 
uh, the lines and everything. So um, you can uh, basically add more options to your object, to your box through here. And uh, you, you can just uh, mess around with these just to get to know these a lot better. Um, you can also go to the uh, wireframe mode by pressing F3 on your keyboard. So F3 is wireframe and F4, uh, I mean F, F3 is your wireframe and your, uh, it just basically switches between your wireframe and your normal uh, view. And F4 switches the uh, wires on and off on your object. Uh, you can also just click on the box and create it first and before going to your modify panel or uh, pressing W on your keyboard or anything like that you can basically go ahead here and you can basically just change the options if you like to and you can also click uh, and hold on these little arrows here and basically move up and down move your mouse up and down and basically add more details to your object uh, you can also create a cube by just selecting the cube and it, and it will basically uh, create it with uh, all the three length, width and height with the same uh, numbers. So that's kind of handy too. Okay, um, I think I'm going to just uh, stop this tutorial here and I will do, a, another, I will do another tutorial on how to edit uh, your objects. Uh, thanks for watching.